Yo, this is Winds of Plague. And you're watching barebonesmusic.com. Yeah, get into it. Evil G, barebonesmusic.com. I'm here with Johnny Ann Arts from Winds of Play. Guys, thanks for joining us. Uh, we're here at the Mayhem Fest. Um, I've been doing a lot of research on you guys, and what, how, what was your reaction when you found out you were going to get the, you got booked on Mayhem? Uh, I mean, it's definitely like an, an unreal thing to hear that you can put on this like, you know, arena tour for the most part uh, with bands like Korn and Rob Zombie. So never, <laughs> never would have guessed, you know, we'd be here. At all. <laughs> I mean, is, is there an intimidation factor a little bit playing with all these? Guys? I mean, you've toured with some of these guys, right? I mean, I think, I think our band's like so like focused and like out for you know like cutthroat. So as far as like intimidation, and we're just no, I don't know. I think we're more just ready for it. <laughs> yeah. Ready to you know take on the stage and make the best of it. Um, what do you what do you think that your guys' sound brings to Mayhem that may not? That may set you apart from some of these other bands. I mean, uh, we've come out of this like younger wave of bands of like Suicide Silence, Whitechapel, and Mirror, and stuff like that. And uh, really, I think we're the only band like that on this bill for the most part. I mean, we obviously have like strong influences like Haybreed and Chimera and Shadows Fall and stuff. But um, as far as like the the new wave, I think we're the only band out here representing that. So I guess it's something uh, for people that haven't been uh, exposed to that kind of music. You know, I guess we're kind of a gateway for that. <laughs> Yeah, and, so, and when the Great Stone War came out, I mean, you, you had that changeover. I know Kristen left, and then you got Alana in, Alana in the band. What does she bring to the table as far as not only on stage, but I know you guys do some writing on tour. Um, what does she bring to the writing process? Uh, I think she's actually writing. <laughs> yeah. She's actually... Uh, That's a start. Yeah, she's a start. She, she likes to write you know, her own stuff on her own, but uh, it's just a good mesh. It's just a good fit for our writing style because you know she'll come in and put her own two cents in after we're ready got structure for her. It's pretty sweet. What we've been doing is um, giving her songs that are complete and seeing what she can write to it. And also Nick, our uh, guitar player, Nick A, she writes most of the keyboard stuff anyways. Mm -hmm. So he'll also throw ideas out and she'll kind of tweak them a little bit here and there. But, uh, you know, that, that was a good thing with the keyboard players, like kind of going in and out. Nick writes most everything anyway, so it doesn't really affect the, the band's style too much. Right. Hey, Elena, come here real quick. Come on. Oh, so did you get walk by like a jackass? All right, into the shot. Hungry. Have Elena. Uh, I was just asking them about uh, you know how you've been meshing into the band and how what you bring into the writing process. So I know you guys write on the road and try to keep things rolling. Tell me about the spin you bring to. Um, well, I'm trying to add like a little bit more like evil type sounding um, keyboard parts to it. <laughs> yeah, obviously I'm wearing Miley Cyrus clothes from Walmart. <laughs> But, like, I don't know, that's like the kind of stuff that I write is more fantasy, evilness, orchestrated type stuff. So, so I'm excited to see, like, what everything else is going to turn out to be. So. Yeah. Going into writing this, this new album, um, taking a different approach to it as, a fo as opposed to, like, the style of music. I mean, something's a little heavier. Are you trying to be, I mean, branching out a little bit? More like the old one. Like really? decimate the week, o almost. Like it's 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 a lot more uh, show friendly, stage friendly to help us on the stage. But uh, it's good for the fans; they can give back to them. But at the same time, it's meeting in the middle of the new, the latest one, and the old one. I would say. Like the first CD, you know, we it was like very. Uh, people come out to the shows, they sing along, they right. jump off the stage, they mosh, and there's very memorable parts. And I think that's what the uh, Great Summer was lacking. Like I'm happy with it as as a musician. You know what I mean? Like mm -hmm. I think it was a more well-written album, a little more technical, you know, the lyrics are more in-depth, but uh, we're trying to mix the two, basically. So we want those fun elements of the first CD, but the, yeah, the, the epicness and the brutality of the, the second one. Well, you've seen a lot of damage, a lot of kids get <laughs> damaged out there. I mean, how's the, how's the kids out there for you guys? We like to uh, start the day off right, and uh, we have been incorporating the Wall of Death, if you get, people are familiar with that. It's like a Braveheart run at each other. And uh, that gets pretty intense from time to time, you know? There has to be at least five people that walk out with broken noses after that. People are like getting trampled on the floor and stuff. I'm just like... They don't care. They're just stomping on you. Yeah. So hopefully they're not, by that point, they're not drunk to the point where they won't remember us. So hopefully they're like, oh yeah, I remember when I got my nose broken in Wins a Plague pit, you know? So 
being on a big tour like this, uh, you know, I've also heard that you guys like to watch movies and play a lot of video games. Is that all you do on your downtime? I mean, 23 and a half hours between shows and... This, uh, this, this tour doesn't really have much downtime, you know, it's like you wake up, you load in, you set up merch, you go on stage, you get off and do, uh, you know, press, then you unload merch and you eat dinner and it's like by the time the day's over you're like worn out. But um, usually, you know, we try to bring like PlayStation and play some like Call of Duty and what well, we got Nintendo 64, so you have uh, Mario Kart, and uh, yeah, the, besides that, just movies. I heard you play a lot of poker. Yeah, last night it was cool, man. We had the Lamb of God guys up on the bus playing some poker, and uh, we took their money. So Did you take the money. Yeah. All right. Well, that's you got positive over there. You take it. John uh, actually bought me in, and then I lost his money, so he really lost out. <laughs> Uh, how many songs do you think you've kind of got skeletons for for the new record? Seven. Yeah, like there's seven or eight. Or yeah, there's a bunch. There, it's almost done. It's like 75 percent done. I think there's like four songs left that we still need to do finishing touches on. Besides that, we're ready to go. How are you feeling, on Atlanta? Getting get, get go in and actually record on this one. I'm excited actually to go and like actually record at a studio or. Um, Whatever we're going to do, it's actually my first. It was actually my first recording experience at Andrew's studio. That was like more so like legit, not like at home recording my own stuff. So that was fun. It was fairly simple, a lot easier to get my ideas down and stuff like that. So. And even though you've been your touring cycle on the Great Stone War has been almost you know. A year here pretty soon you still have tour plans well, um, what, what happens after mayhem uh, we're gonna try and squeeze in a few headlining shows around the world uh, we're doing like uh, three weeks in the US three weeks in the in UK and Europe a couple uh, Mexico headlining shows and then hopefully that'll bring us up to the end of the year we just like the tour. <laughs> we love it we don't like one, one last question who on this bill, have you seen so far that's just, just really blowing you away? Dude, Corn. I mean, it's just a production. Zombie, Corn, Lamb of God. All the, all the big boy bands on the big stage are just pulling out. Boy bands? Big boy bands. Oh, big boy. <laughs> big boy. <laughs> big, boy. <laughs> big boy. Yeah. Now, this is the first time you've been on Mayhem, right? Yeah. Yep. I mean, how, what, what does it mean to you to be on Mayhem? Uh, hopefully it doesn't mean it's the biggest tour of our career, but <laughs> at this point it is. So I mean, it's just it's unreal. I don't even. It's a dream come true, really. I don't know. It's fun. C the catering's good. <laughs> okay, this is awesome. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm here with Winds of Plague, Johnny, Art, Al Alana. I keep wanting to call you Alana. I'm sorry. <laughs> Atlanta <laughs> and Great Stone War will be going to the studio soon catch them out on tour if you haven't seen them mayhem we're only day nine on the tour you're so day nine, day nine yeah no day nine yeah <laughs> you're only on tour, date number nine <laughs> so sure check them out